Hey guys, we're back with some more simple kid-friendly art ideas. And today we're gonna work on some art journaling. Now if you remember yesterday, we did all of these little pieces, right? Out of our scraps of paper with just crayons and pen. And then we ended up making some cards, right? That we could put a nice note in to friends that we're missing while we're, you know, trying to stay at home and keep ourselves and everyone around us safe, right? Um, or we could send them to people who are sick in the hospital or something like that, right? So we made cards with some of them yesterday. I really like this card, by the way. Um, today I'm gonna show you something a little different you could do with those same pieces. And I am going to do it in my art journal. Now, art journal is a uh, notebook. It could be any, any, any book. Um, that you do art, uh, drawings, uh, sketching, painting, anything like that in. This is mine. This is not a blank notebook. This is an, actually an old calendar. Um, it could be a composition notebook, something that you have at home. It could just be a blank piece of paper. Maybe you don't have a book. Just get out a blank piece of paper and you can work on that. Um, Use what you have. We're trying not to go out, right, and buy anything new, and um, we're trying to be safe and do what um, everybody is recommending, right? So these are just some pages that I have in here. I have this piece of pa this page, two pages that have some paint in the background, and I've already glued down some feathers and things like that. You maybe have a blank piece of paper. And maybe before you get started with anything else, you just want to color um, with your pencils or your markers or crayons. Uh, put some color down. Maybe um, take a pencil, regular pencil. This is a this is a mechanical pencil, but it's just a regular uh, graphite like school pencil. And you could just make shapes, and you could just do some scribbling. You could do some writing and write about, you know, the frustration you're feeling about them being stuck at home, right? And just make some marks on the background. It doesn't matter what they are. And then I'm going to take some of the pieces that we made yesterday. And I've, again, I've just got our Elmer's glue. You could use a glue stick, which I actually have a glue stick right here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use right now, but I have them both out. Uh, and I'm going to use some of our pieces and put a face on my page. I'm going to use some of these pieces. So I'm going to use my blue eyeballs. And blue is an appropriate color because we're all feeling blue and a little bit frustrated and depressed about what's going on, right? So blue is a good color. So I'm going to just glue them down. I'm gonna get one of my popsicle sticks that I had yesterday, and I'm gonna use that to help me push the edges down so things will stay in the glue, right? They'll stay glued down. Put the eyes as far apart as I can on this page, but if they're too, end up being too close together for reality, that's okay. I'm not shooting for reality. So <laughs> I'm not trying to make a realistic face here. Okay, so I'm gonna glue on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna put the eyebrows so the front part of the eyebrow between the eyes is kind of up. If you look in the mirror, when you're mad, it would be down. If you are just calm, it would be straight. And if you're kind of worried or upset, it would be up. So we're gonna put them up a little bit, right? That voice in the background is my family or the dog or somebody. <laughs> well, just FYI. So we're gonna put our eyebrows facing up. We are going to grab one of our noses. I'll use this one, it's right on top. And put it on here, about right there. Put on some lips. And I have this arrow that happens to be the same color blue as the eyes. 
and I'm gonna put it across the lips this way. Now my hands are all gluey. So before I touch anything and get glue all over the place, I'm gonna grab a paper towel, or in this case, a baby wipe, and I'm gonna wash the glue off. Okay, so now we've got our face on there. I have a white crayon. I don't know how well it's going to show up on here, but let's find out. Because this is acrylic paint in the background, so yeah, see, it's not showing up very well. But that's okay. How about if we use the black pen? Now, you could, if you are old enough to use a Sharpie and you have mom and dad's permission, you could use a Sharpie on this. That would show up really well. Otherwise, just grab a pen, ask mom and dad if there's a pen you can use. And just, you wanna just scribbly, you know, draw the shape, kind of hint at the shape of the face. If you do it with Sharpie, See, it shows up a little better. If you have a big fat, maybe you have a dark flat black um, Crayola marker. Now, this is not a flat one. This is um, a sparkly one, but this, I bet this would work too. Yep. It's not quite as black as the Sharpie, but it would work. Okay. Then I want to put words, and I have a lot of words that I cut out from different things, but I could also just write words on one of my scraps of paper. So I'll put that aside and let it dry for a minute. I'm gonna take my scrap of paper, one of the ones, same kind I used yesterday, it could be any paper, and I'm gonna write words. In this case, I'm gonna write words about how I'm feeling right now, about what's going on in the world, right? So I'm going to write, let me see, let me see. One thing I usually try to do is make sure I'm spelling my words right because I'm not sure that one's actually spelled right. So I'll hang on a second. I was right. It has an E on the end. <laughs> okay, so maybe you want to just write after you make your... Um, um, picture on your page, you want to just write, um, I'm confused, or you want to write, uh, I'm happy to spend time with my family, or whatever you're feeling about what's going on right now, that's what I want you to write to put on your page, and that's the thought that I want you to have when you're working on your art journal page, yeah? So now I'm going to cut these out. Again, we're going to use scissors, but I want you to be mindful, if you're young, of making sure you have appropriate scissors for your age and mom and dad's permission. And if you're not old enough to use a pair of scissors, then I want you to have mom or dad cut them out for you, right? They can help you do the writing too if you aren't sure about doing the writing or how to spell the words that you wanna write. Have mom and dad help you. Now you can see I'm taking my sentence and I'm cutting each one of the words apart. I do this a lot and I save words like out of magazines and newspapers to do this kind of thing with. And we'll be working on something that like that in a future video. So now I've got all my words. So we're gonna push them to the side and bring our journal back. 
and grab our glue and start putting them down. Let's see. I need to find them all first. Where's that eye? <laughs> I lost one already. How did that happen? Seriously, I lost one already. <laughs> I don't understand how these things happen to me. Let's see. Oh, it's because it's stuck to my hand. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to just glue them down in a kind of a way that kind of makes sense, but is messy and makes messy sense. You'll see what I mean. Oh wait, I am, um, put the words down in the wrong order. Helps if I do them in the right order, I am feeling. See, I already forgot what I wrote. So the nice thing about Elmer's glue is it doesn't dry right away. So if you do that, you can pull it off. There we go. some parts that don't want to stick. Put some more glue. Hold it down for a minute. There. Now you could do more to the page if you want, but you don't have to. Um, it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. Um, I think this is um, just enough. It gets my point across. Uh, I'm not actually on the verge of falling to pieces. Let me put that out there. I maybe was a few days ago, but I'm actually doing okay and um, feeling okay about what's going on and the steps that we as a family are taking. So anyway, that being said, I hope that you all are enjoying your time at home with your family and that you're having fun making some art. Do some art journaling. Don't be afraid, whatever you're feeling, to get it out in your journal. Have fun with it and see where it takes you. I will um, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. I'm not sure about this kid video thing, so what you can and can't do. Um, but the most important thing is to have some fun, enjoy your space, enjoy your family, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.